Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sandra. Today I have for you my first update for Throwback 32.0. Um, I did not update last month for the first update because it was my niece's birthday weekend and there was just a lot going on so and I didn't have a ton of progress yet so I figured I would just update today so today is September 29th um, there are 30 prompts 30 projects that we've done in the past for the fantastic ladies are ongoing or um, are just like seasonal projects things like that so you know because it's impossible to do all of the projects even though we would all love to this is Jessica's little like a brainchild and I think this is such an amazing idea so I'm just gonna go ahead and run through all of the projects and prompts and then the products that I have selected for those so for the first one I have 12 days of Christmas for that one I chose the prompt um, five golden rings and for that one I chose benefits um, cheek stars reunion tour because of the gold packaging here <laughs> I wanted to find a way to incorporate this into um, a project because I bought it and I hadn't used it. <laughs> so these are the five products that are in here. I have a usage goal of using this palette, um, it doesn't matter what shade, 50 times and I am up to three uses. <laughs> so it's going to be in here for a bit um, but I am going to enjoy it, it smells so good. Um, I don't know what the scent is but it smells really really good so that's my first one next i have for 50 shades of panning it's like a sexy theme so for that one i chose the nude sticks nudies matte um in sunkissed and so my usage is also my goal is usage so it's 50 times and i'm up to eight um so this is it rolled all the way up i did mark it last time but it's at the same um at the same line pretty, well, pretty much so I'm not gonna mark it again but I am um, tracking by weight as well um, so this one went from two uh, so this one still weighs the same 29.9 and then uh, for three 50 shades of pink I chose my Maybelline lifter gloss I think it's in my purse I'm not sure where it is currently but I have been using it um, so if I find it, I'll throw the weight um, in my description box. Next for four is Seven Deadly Pants. And for that one, I chose Greed. Um, so that one is a category with the most. So for that one, I chose a blush. And my goal is to use this 50 times. And I chose the Milani uh, Baked Blush in Berry Amore. So I am wearing that today on its own on my cheeks today um so i'm up to today is my fourth use it went from 41.3 two months ago to 41.2 today um so this is all pretty slow progress it's the beginning of the project so i'm not expecting like a ton yet but um i do i do have that um next uh four five around the world i chose the nomad sydney bathers palette i want to use that one 30 times and i'm currently at four um so this is what that palette looks like it's just to use it um in total 30 times not a specific shade uh but i've used this one this one and this one i don't think i've used this one yet i might have to try it as like a shadow or something um uh, but yep i'm at four there and then for six beauty a to z i have my mac bronzer i already had panned in this from a pre previous project um so there won't be too much change i have i kind of just started using that because i was working on another bronzer um so there'll be more progress hopefully next time for seven for birthstone beauty i chose seraphine botanicals in um daisy and pearl so there's that one my goal is to hit pan on this i use this pretty regularly i am wearing it today um but it's gonna be in here a while Next, I have a Budget Beauty, so I chose the Elf Cheek Duo. I chose, um, I think the, oh, the bl the blush side for this one. And then I'll just show you the highlight too for a different prompt. My goal is to hit pan on both of these. So the highlight looks like it has a little bit more use. The blush, I've used it, but, you know, blush is, is more of a long, long haul type thing. 
So I'm using it. Um, you'll probably get more use than that one. Um, maybe like in the spring. But I'm still using it. I do. I like it a lot. It's a really nice color. Both of them. Next for nine is Cupid's bow that I chose the PYT setting spray. My goal is to finish it. I actually just used it for the first time right now before filming. Um, so I didn't even weigh it or anything like that because I weighed everything before I started doing my makeup. Um, so, yep, I used it. So far it looks fine and the camera looks fine. I'll have to test it. Um, it's kind of late. It's like almost six o'clock. <laughs> um, next, ten, drop, before, drop ten before summer. I chose my Soul Body Bronzer. My goal is to use this one 50 times and I'm at 16. So, there is like a dip. This one smells really good too. Um, I didn't put the use, the goal to hit pan because I know that would probably take like over 100 uses probably. Um, so that one weighs 90.6, it went down 0.2 um grams next is fall for you i chose alamar cafecito which is what i have in my brows today um <laughs> my goal i think is a hip pan so this is what it looks like there's a little dip um yeah there's a little dip right there um these pans are pretty deep and hard hard pressed i have hip pan in two other mattes that took such a long time but i really like this palette um so yep keep going on that one and then for 12 food for thought i chose my kaja honey drizzle so right now it was on its side i didn't realize but i am to about here so this is two months progress but technically because that's when i put it in the project when it started um but apparently it was brand new when i brought it in and it was already kind of like at this line um but i just started using it a lot more like within the past week or so so if i can get that much progress in like a week maybe i could finish it by next month but i like this it's a nice gloss i have um two other shades and then the clear um so i like this formula it's really nice but um i'll mark it after after it finishes settling and then next time we can get a better um idea of where it was next uh for harry potter i chose tarts uh, make believe in yourself shadow in the shade magic i actually depotted this and i should not have done that um i am wearing it like on the outside but, oh god, I feel like I destroyed this shadow trying to depot it so that I wouldn't have to pull out a palette every time I wanted to use it. And um, it was just a hot mess. I salvaged as much as I could and I regret it because I really like this shade. I think it's really pretty. Um, but yeah, um, we'll see. We'll see how long it takes to finish that one. I'm going to enjoy it while I have it. Um, next, in the panning zone, uh, I chose the prompt 2, one for the angels, um, sub A, a product that gives you an angelic glow. For that one, I chose the e.l.f. duo, the highlight side. Uh, for 15, lip service, I chose Urban Decay's 1993. I've only used it once, and I have a usage of 30, so I have 29 to go. Uh, for, what is this number? 16. <laughs> um mean girl quotes i chose something that um someone else like influenced me to buy and so i chose the bare minerals well rested concealer it looks like this so i've been using it um and i had said my goal was to finish this but uh, this is gonna take me more than a year to finish so i'm gonna use it 50 times and i'm at six already so we'll see where we are time wise when i hit those usage that usage goal and maybe like re revise but for now i'm i'm good with 50. next for uh 29 winnie the pan i chose sale la vie for rue uh, it's a nail polish from Sinful Colors. So I'm like almost right here. I don't really want to make a new mark because it'll kind of just become one big blob. Um, so I, I need to paint my, toe, my toes and my fingernails. 
so i think i'll do this one for my toes and then the other nail polish that's in here for my my hands um so that one went from 53.5 to 52 even so i have used it it's just um i've been pretty inconsistent with painting my nails because i've been wanting to wear press on so um i kind of go like oh well if i do my nails my nail polish i cannot wear press on so i'm very indecisive <laughs> Next, for Nightmare Before Christmas, I chose Puppy Love uh, for Zero. And this one, so I started using it. It is cracked. Um, so I've been using it kind of like as a base for my inner corner highlight because this doesn't show up that well as an inner corner highlight or I can do it all over the lid. And I have panned one of these before, uh, but this is a little older and it, I don't know. The consistency is fine um but you know it's old <laughs> um okay so that one weighs the same 19.2 number 19 is once upon a pan for that one i chose my milani concealer i finally opened it um so i am using it now i'm not wearing it today because i just received a concealer um from octoly to try and review so i am testing that out but i i do use that otherwise um next number 20 panning game so i randomized all of my makeup and i got uh cypress umber from the abh modern renaissance and i have that like all out here so i have like a decent dip i have a decent dip but it's pretty powdery too so i think my goal is to finish oh no to hit pan to hit pan but maybe i'll try and finish it because um i i had originally said that by the end of this year i would declutter this palette but um i have two i have this in my 50 shades of purple i think um and then now this one so we'll see we'll see where i am at the end of the year and then maybe if not at the end of these projects uh so we'll see but for now i'm working on it there's a there's a decent dip so it's going and then number 21, Panning Solitaire, I chose Urban Decay's Solstice. I've used it a couple times, but you can't, there's not like a dip really or anything. So I love this one. So pretty. I want to pair it with like a, a red base or I've done a black base. So pretty. But yep, that one I think I want to hit pan. Yeah. And then next, 22, Rocking Around the Christmas Tree, I chose um, I'll Be Home for Christmas, a song, uh, because I would like to finish this by Christmas. So I actually got a lot of progress. This is where I started, and I'm here now. Uh, so this will be gone for next month, which I'm really excited. I have another bottle in the pink. Um, so maybe when I finish this one, I can start working on that one, but we'll see. But yeah, I'm excited. I really like this. I use it in my skincare sometimes. Um, I'll use it to prep my skin for makeup or what have you. It's pretty versatile. I like it a lot. Um, so this one should be done. And I'm really excited. <laughs> um, next is 23, Say Good Day to Project Panning. And I chose Dangerous Animals, a product you feel makes you feel fierce. And so that one I chose an eye primer. Um, so I finally started using this as well, um, and I like it. I just did my makeup, but even right now, I don't feel like I have any creasing or anything like that. Um, this is what it looks like. It's pretty, like, sheer, like, when you, um, blend it out. It's pretty sheer, uh, but it's nice. I'm, I'm enjoying it so far. Next, I have for 24... A significant other project pan. I chose the Mel Smoke Sessions palette. I have that's what I have here um, on my lid today. Oh, my boy came to visit. I don't know if you guys can see him. No. <laughs> so I have this shade. Um, yep. I need to get more use out of this one. I like the grungy greens that they have. That one, I think I just want to hit pan. I actually don't have a goal next to it. Um, but I probably just want to hit pan on, on a shade. Uh, 25 skin is in. I have my Soap and Glory moisturizer. I just have so many moisturizers. And I'm really excited because this one should be gone in like a week. 
or so a week or so max two weeks i don't know if you guys can see how like once it settles it's not very much and i didn't expect to finish it this quickly i'm really excited actually um so this one went from 221.2 and i'm at 176.9 right now um so i do use this as my morning daytime moisturizer and then i make sure to put sunscreen on because this does have a uh, vitamin c it's there in the bright of day uh vitamin c gel cream i like it um I don't know i like it it's a nice consistency especially for like combination skin it's pretty nice um so i'm just gonna go ahead and put that back in my bathroom so i can finish that one off next for 26 of four seasons i chose lime crimes filter because this reminds me of like a really great fall palette so filter is the blue and i wore this yesterday um and i think i want to hit pan in this yes i want to hit pen in this so i don't know if you could tell here it's not the biggest dip but i mean i'm getting used out of it but i need to find different ways to wear it because it's such a unique shade but i don't like i'm kind of intimidated by it because i it is so different but i love it it's really nice next for 30 wizard of penny i chose ruby slippers and that's something red so this is the other uh, nail polish that i mentioned so it's like right under here. I'm not going to mark this one either. So this one is a Des uh, in Suzanemi. This was a red before and then I had a loose glitter that I threw in here. So I thought like when I knew this was coming back and Wizard of Panning was in here, I was like, I have to, I have to do it. <laughs> um, so my goal is to finish this one, but I don't like to put it on my toes because uh, since there is glitter in here, it's a little harder to take off. Um, but yeah, I'm working on it. It's going. And then for the last one, I have 28 Unicorn Project Pan. And I chose the Palace Identity Primer because it's like a duochrome holographic kind of looking primer. So I'm using it. Um, but I don't really know where to mark it because it like settled lower here, but then it's high here. So I might see if it'll settle anymore and then mark it um but it's going i don't recently my skin has been freaking out like it's been really upset and i don't know um what is irritating my skin sometimes i think it's this because there's a lot of fragrance in it um or it seems like there is at least yeah there i feel like there's a lot of fragrance in this but, you know, I have to try a lot of things to review and stuff like that that I get sent. So it could really be anything. But this one has a lot of fragrance. So that kind of what leads me to this. Like, I'm wearing it today. Um, I don't know. I'm going to continue using it. It is like a really strange texture. I don't know if I could. It's like really thin and it feels a little gritty because there's glitter in there i don't know if you guys can will be able to tell probably not my camera sucks well it's my phone that's why but yeah it's like a a weird texture and you can feel it's kind of gritty um because there's like glitter particles in it i don't know if you can see but yeah it's pretty fragranced um i don't know like i don't mind it as a primer it's been fine hasn't really like messed up my makeup or anything like that where's my towel i don't know where my towel is okay i shouldn't have done that <laughs> um but yeah so i don't know i'm gonna continue using if i still feel like it's irritating my skin then i'll have to kind of revisit because i'm i'm not willing to mess up my skin just to get a product done um, I don't, I don't think that really makes sense. Um, but I do have two empties that I forgot to take out. Um, so while I rummage through here, <laughs> uh, what did I finish? Okay, so I finished for 27 Turn and Burn. I finished my lip gloss. It was just like a really pretty pink. Um, it's called the LA Girl Shimmer Lip Gloss. It doesn't have a name or anything, but it's really pretty. 
Um, I took out the stopper. I took out as much as I could. I flew through this one. Like these are really easy to finish. There's not very much in it. But I'm happy because I have another lip product out. And then actually last night I got my last use out of this Origins Plant Scription Multi-Powered Youth Serum. I put this in for Movie Madness for Wolverine Origins. I gotta double check if that's an actual thing or not or if I just made that up. I don't know. <laughs> I keep forgetting to check. Um, but yeah, I finished it. It is a um, an airless pump. So it's kind of like spitting at me right now. But nothing else comes out um, aside from that little bit. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited because I didn't expect to finish it already. Um, but yeah, that gives me a little more time to focus on everything else in this project. But I'm really excited. I love this project. It's so good. If you want to join, you are more than welcome to. You just, for this one, you kind of have to be a part of the Fantastic Ladies group on Facebook because there's too much for us to fit in the description box um, pertaining to like all the different um, projects and all of that. But honestly, like we're just really a panning group. We pretty much just discuss panning related um content and we kind of share with each other when we hit pan you know that we're excited about or stuff like that so it's a great group of people i don't think we have any males in the group correct me if i'm mistaken but it's a really great group of ladies people you know it's wonderful i've been a part of them for a couple years now and i i've loved so many of the people that i've met through there so if you want to join I suck at this, but if I remember, I will put the link. If not, just um, search us on Facebook and we should pop up. You just ask, uh, you just have to answer a couple questions just to make sure you're not like a troll or a robot, <laughs> pretty much. So that's it for me today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you on my next video.